Hi, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. I'm a registered acupuncturist and yoga teacher. I like to combine Chinese medicine with yoga. Today in our sequence, we're gonna be working a lot into our shoulders and our neck area. This is a common place where we hold a lot of tension. And according to Chinese medicine, this area of our body, our neck, right into the shoulders, even into the back of our body, back into the scapula, into our um, shoulder blades, that all this area is related to our liver and gallbladder meridian. So what that means is when we are frustrated or we're tense, we're kind of overthinking in certain ways, sometimes this area of the body will aggravate us. Currently, when I'm filming this, it is winter also. That kind of creeps into the body and our muscles and our tendons are just shrinking up and just getting a little bit more tight. So today's sequence is gonna work on the neck and the shoulders, and then we're gonna work even down into the arms, right into our fingers. So join me today, and if you like the sequence, please subscribe and follow me, and I hope to see you whenever I see you, and most often. Okay, so when we start our practice, we always wanna have our feet planted nice and firmly on the ground. We are in the chair, so we're using the support to help us. The shoulders are on top of the waist, okay? And we're always gonna try to draw the belly in to have a long and tall spine. The crown of our head is reaching up to the sky. And of course, if there's any part of this practice that is uncomfortable for you, you stop or slow down. We always wanna practice ahimsa, which is non-violence to the body. So we'll start our practice with our hands on top of the thighs. We're gonna close our eyes with a tall spine and breathe in and out. And as we breathe in and out gently, we're focusing on sending positive energy into the body. We're also allowing ourselves to relax and send out any negativity and tension out of the mind, out of those shoulders, and out of the neck. Continue here with me, breathing in. seat, inhaling and exhaling. Now I close my eyes in that portion. We can open them up if you had to close them. Let's open up our eyes and let's go ahead and take our arms all the way up. All the way up to the sky, reaching up, looking up slightly and gently lowering them down softly, breathing out. Again, breathing in all the way up to the sky and softening, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face. Again, breathing in three times a charm. Let's reach up to the heavens and then exhale, lower them down, breathing out. Let's try that to the side, breathing in, opening up the chest and then exhaling, lower them down to the side. We're keeping with that same philosophy, opening up, positive energy into the body. And as we breathe out, releasing negativity, negative thoughts, tension. Again, breathing in, expanding those lungs, opening up the heart space. Exhale, lower down. Let's do one more. Relaxing those shoulders, opening up the heart, breathing in, and then exhaling, breathing out. Okay. Now we're gonna take our arms in a little bit closer to the face, breathing in, and then exhale, this time pushing the hands out and down. So we have to expand our breath, breathing in, crossing them up a little bit, and then pushing out, breathing out. I want you to imagine that you're taking in that positive energy here, and any clouded thoughts are pushing them away and releasing them out of our mind, out of our body, okay? Still nice tall spine, breathing in and pushing out, breathing out. Let's do one more, inhaling and then exhale, breathing out, push. Okay, now let's take our arms all the way up a little bit more. Imagine you're taking a sweater off of your body, so gently crossing your arms or not touching, Inhaling here and then push.
pushing out, breathing out. Okay, we're gonna do that a couple more times. Breathing in, opening up your chest. Imagine you're taking that sweater off, crossing the arms gently and breathing out. Exhale, exhale. Great, again, breathing in. Nice tall spine, maybe looking up and parting the arms softening the shoulders. This is called parting the clouds in Qigong. Imagining you are opening up the body here to possibilities and positivity and you're parting the clouds of the negativity, maybe the frustration that you may be holding in the body. Let's do one more. Breathing in and then exhale. Breathe out. Ah, wonderful. Still nice tall spine, we're gonna roll out the shoulders, okay? Inhaling as we lift up, exhaling, rolling them back, breathing in and out, inhaling, exhaling. So for me, this is common that my back, my neck, my collarbone, sometimes it gets a little creaky and that's okay. We're working out those little kinks Make sure you're breathing in and out as you do this, okay? And smiling, breathing in, out. One more, breathing in and out. Let's go ahead and take our hands on top of the shoulders, doing the same action, but imagining that the elbows, you know, you are kind of like wings here in the arms. So we're, um, we're kind of warming up, imagining that we're the, uh, at like, we're about to take flight and imagine that we're just warming up as a bird. We're opening up the body. So we're flapping the wings here, inhaling, exhaling. My fingers are not, they're just touching my shoulders. There's no tension. I'm still relaxed. I'm just connecting breath with movement and I'm just putting more mobility into the body. Remember, motion is lotion. Good. Now let's take the elbows all the way up, opening up our heart, inhaling here, and then exhaling, let's take the palms up, facing up, and release arms down. Good. Let's do that again, but this time taking arms all the way up, reaching up, hands to the shoulders, lift up the elbows, inhale, and exhale, breathe out. So a lot of deep breathing here. Inhale. Exhale, touching the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. See if you can engage the belly a little so you're supporting the lower back as you do this. Breathe in, tight belly. Breathe out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, breathe out. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale and exhale, release. Great. If you feel like you need a shake, I do. Let's shake out those arms, give it a little shake. And of course, when we're doing these shakes, we're intentionally letting go any tension out of the body. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, now let's take that left arm all the way up. So I'm mirroring you. This is my right arm, but we're gonna take our left arm up. Breathe in, lift up, draw the belly in, tall spine, inhale. Let's go for a side sway. Oh, that feels really good. I want you to relax the neck a little. Soften the face and the eyes. Inhaling, exhaling. Tight belly here, we're gonna come on back up. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Let's do the other side. Breathe in, tall spine, shoulders still on top of that waist. Lift up and sway. Again, maybe softening the eyes, relax the face. Relax that bottom shoulder, breathing in and out. Wonderful, lift up, tight belly, inhale, exhale. Let's do that two more times on each side. Breathe in and out, sway. Relax the shoulders, soft face, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Again, other side, breathe in, breathe out. Keep it soft, 
Feel that nice, gentle stretch the side of the body, opening up the lung space. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Okay, one more time on each side. Lift up, inhale, exhale. Holding and melting, breathing in. Exhale out. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Okay, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Holding and melting, breathe in and out. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Perfect. Let's take the arms all the way up. Touch the fingertips. Look up to the sky if it, um, it suits you. Breathe in and then breathe out. Take your hand to the heart, tall spine. We'll do that again. Breathing in and out, tall spine, inhaling, lifting, reaching, exhale, release. One more time, breathing in and out, perfect. Now, let's take the hands in front, inhale, exhale, breathing in, tall spine, breathing out. So we're kind of connecting to our breath here. Of course, we're connecting with our breath. But I want you to make sure that the arms are still in the body when we do this. Breathe in, breathe out. So what I mean by that side profile is that we're not reaching, okay? We're just tall spine, reach out and back. Again, breathing in, got it? And breathe out, tuck the belly in, tall spine here, breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, this is preparing us now for the next move here. I want us to pretend that we are opening door knobs here with both fingers. We're gonna uh, both hands. We're gonna articulate the hands. So turn those door knobs, but don't reach. We keep the arms in the body, tall spine. Open the doors. Breathe in and pull those elbows back, chest up. Relax those shoulders. Inhale here. And exhale, we're gonna punch it out. It can be a slow or a firm punch, okay? So we're gonna open the doors, breathing in, new possibilities, positivity, and we're gonna punch out any negativity, okay? We're gonna breathe in, lift up the chest, and punch it out, okay? So I'm doing this a little bit fast, but you can go slow if you wish. Breathe in like this. Breathe out with intention, okay? So we're inhaling again that positive energy and strength, and we're pushing out the negativity and intention out of the body, okay? Very intentional. Again, breathing in, open up those arms, open up the chest, and then push it out. Good, let's do two more. Breathe in, breathe out, okay? Inhaling. And exhale, push, good. Okay, I want you to shake it out, shake out the arms. Okay, remember, we're working on the tension in our neck and our shoulders. So let's take the arms down, sitting nice and tall, feet still planted nice and firmly. Let's go ahead and look to our right. Inhaling, exhaling. Okay, something very simple. We're gonna turn to the other side, breathing in and out come on back to center right ear to right shoulder inhaling exhaling hold it here let's extend the left arm out sending energy down through those fingertips wiggle them a little bit inhaling here exhale release the arm now we're going to go take our right hand to the top of the head. No pressure, just gentle weight here. Inhale, exhale. Release the hand slightly and let's go ahead and look down to the right hip. Take the hand to the back of the head, no pressure, just placing it gently on the head. We're gonna breathe here, looking at the hip, in and out. Release the hand, let's roll the head down to center, and then inhale, look up to me. Good, let's try the other side. 
Let's go to the other side. Ooh, so if you have a tight neck like me, or if you maybe slept funny, or it's winter and you didn't wear your scarf, sometimes you get these pricks in the neck. So we're gonna breathe loving energy into this neck. Inhale. Exhale, inhale. Very good. We're gonna hold it here and send energy through those right fingertips. Continue to breathe in. Wiggling those fingertips. Exhale out. Go ahead and release the hand. Gently place your hand, left hand on top of the head. No major pressure. Don't crank the neck. Be good to yourself. Breathe in and out. Okay, release the hand slightly. Let's look down to our left hip. Take the hand to the back of the head. Nice breath here in and out. You're probably noticing one side's grumpier than the other, so be gentle to yourself. Release the hand. We're we'll gently roll the head back to center and inhale, please, as you look up. Breathe in. <sighs> How does that feel? Okay, if your neck is being a little bit grumpy now, and even if it's not, let's go ahead and take our hands up. I want you to interlace the fingers and place it behind the head here, kind of at the back of where the it's called the occiput, like just at the back of the skull here. We're going to breathe in. Imagine that you're on the beach, or if you don't like the beach, just you're basking in this beautiful sunshine. Inhaling, exhaling, it's like a little heart opener, supporting our necks, breathing in. And then come back to neutral space here, neutral spine. Breathe in, and then exhale. We're Release the hands down. Let's do three shoulder rolls back. One, don't forget to be two, and three. Okay, now we're gonna do shoulder rolls forward. So one, two, don't forget to breathe, and three. Good, now back to that nice neutral spine, sitting nice and tall. We're gonna go ahead and start tapping on our meridian. So if you didn't watch any of my other videos, I love to do this. You can either take a fist, so a gentle little fist, or you can take a nice little cupping hand, okay? So I'm gonna do a little fist today because I need a little bit more pressure, so it's your choice and your practice. I'm gonna start at the top of my shoulder here. This point, acupressure, acupuncture point, is called gallbladder 21. This gallbladder point is a, a very common point where people hold tension. We're gonna just knock in this spot and be like, hello, wake up and loosen up, okay? And from here, we're gonna start tapping on the outside of the arm, okay? This is the yang channel, like the yin and yang symbol. This is the yang channel on the outside. Now we're gonna turn the palm open and up and go on the inside of the arm all the way up. Now I'm gonna start tapping onto just a little bit underneath the collarbone here. And this is our lung channel. So we want to make sure the lungs are nice and healthy and come all the way across. And I'm going to use both hands. Just underneath the collarbone here. This is lung one, lung two. It's a common acupuncture point that I needle on people who are dealing with a lot of um, maybe cough, lung issues, but most importantly, what I use it for I use it for emotional tension. So let's just tap that out right now. Breathe in and out. <sighs> Feels good. Okay, now we're gonna come all the way to the other side and we're gonna give love to that other gallbladder 21 point. So tap on it on the shoulder. You can almost visually see to yourself, yeah, good job. Good job here. Okay, now we're gonna go onto the outside of this arm and then turn the palm up and go on the inside of the arm, the yin channel. So we've affected both yin and yang channels. We're gonna come back across and now we're gonna do it again. So a little bit more quickly, tapping on the out, tapping on the in, all the way across. Don't forget to breathe. So of course you can go as firmly or as gently as you wish. Today's one of those days where I need to be a little more firm because I just didn't 
sleep very great and my body's a little more achy, so this is why we're working on this space. And sometimes when the body's achy, then you get grumpy. And so we're gonna knock out all of that grumpiness out of the body, okay? Okay, and last one. I'm three times a charm here. Down, out, cross. Don't forget the top of the shoulder. Yang channel to the yin channel. Wonderful. And I'm gonna finish here. You can do fingertips or tapping with your fists. Breathe in, and out, and we're gonna stop here. I want you to take a moment to see how you feel. What are you feeling? Where are you feeling it? Gently close your eyes, take a breath, inhaling, and exhaling. Do you feel a little tingly, kind of woken up the whole body? Maybe you've released some tension out of the upper part. Okay, let's work on it a little bit more. So now we're gonna take our fingers. So we opened up those doorknobs. Let's work on our fingers a little bit more. Okay, these fingers do a lot of work, but we don't a lot of, a lot of times give it a lot of attention. So we're gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle the fingers. Okay, has anybody taken piano lessons or played on a piano? Imagine you're playing on a grand piano. So if you're playing on a grand piano, to really get a beautiful sound. You have to press harder because it's just so grand. So imagine you're playing on a grand piano. So you're playing here, I'm firmly pressing into this imaginary grand piano. And then I'm gonna to start to play my scales from one side to the next side. And then I'm gonna to start to move and twist my body. It's a little segue into our gentle twists. Don't forget to breathe. And depending on how hard you're pressing into that imaginary piano, you may be starting to feel some fatigue in those fingers. So you have to be gentle to yourself. You either stop or you slow down. Maybe you were playing a, a jazz piece. Maybe you were playing a big pop concert song on the piano, but now we're just gonna go into like a lullaby. Very gentle, very soft, and please, don't forget to breathe. Ooh, now we're gonna take that piano, pretend it's all the way up in the air. Yes, an imaginary piano in the air, yay! That's the beauty of this, right? The imagination, piano in the air, and then we're gonna come all the way back up. Ah, and release. Ooh, take a breath, inhaling. Did you wake up your forearms and your fingers? Okay, now they need a little bit more love. We're gonna interlace the fingers any which way, okay? And I want you to roll out the wrists. Okay, we're kind of snugging, giving these fingers a little hug from all that work that it did. Beautiful. And then I want you to roll out the wrists up and down here. Does anybody remember doing this when they were younger? I used to do this as my dance moves. <laughs> Okay, can you go both ways? Go try going both ways. And then reach all the way up, draw the belly in, inhale here, take it to the side, breathe out, stretch. Good, inhale, lift, stretch, breathe out, stretch to the other side. Smiling, inhale, lift, and then round the back. This is kind of our first cat pose in this session. Draw the belly in, Push those uh, knuckles forward, okay? Inhale, lift, release the hands, breathe out. Wonderful, okay? Shake it all out, shake it all out. Perfect. This is a perfect segue to do our cows and cats while on a chair. Take your hands onto the thighs, still sitting nice and tall, sit bones still planted onto the seat. We're gonna open up the chest, inhaling, lifting up the heart. Roll the shoulders back and down. Stick the tailbone out to the back. And exhale, round the back. So we're drawing the belly into the spine. Imagine this belly button's going to the back of the chair. Reach the fingertips forward. Tuck the chin into the chest. Breathe out. Okay, come back to center. I'm gonna show you what it looks like side profile. Okay, from here, inhale, opening up. You can do this with me. Chest up, 
tailbone sticking out, shoulders roll back and down, breathe out, reach the fingertips to the front, draw the belly to the back. Good, again, breathing in, open up the chest, exhale, breathe out. We're gonna do a few more of this. This is beautiful to articulate the spine, inhaling, exhaling, breathing out. Let's do two more. Inhaling, exhaling, breathing out. Okay, I'm gonna come back to the front for my last one. Inhaling, open up the chest. Exhale, around the back. Oh, it feels really great. Okay, come on back to center. Relax the shoulders, make sure the shoulders are right on top of the waist, knees on top of the ankles. Okay, let's go ahead and do a gentle twist. Okay, so we're gonna start with the right side. I want you to take your right hand behind you. So I'm moved forward on the front of my chair. I always like to, well, also I'm short. So I have to come to the edge of my chair to plant my feet nice and firmly down. I recommend that you come a little bit um, to the front of your chair, even if you're tall and you have lots of space um, to give you space to place your right hand behind you on the chair, okay? So try to have that hand nice and close to the tailbone, okay? We're gonna inhale here, and then exhale, gently twist, taking the left hand now to the outside of that right leg, okay? From here, we're gonna try to keep our chin over our sternum, that nice flat bone right here at the top where our, um, our rib cage is. Inhale, lift and lengthen, up through the crown of the head, and then exhale, gently twist. Okay, relax both shoulders. Breathe in, exhale, twist. Beautiful, one more time, breathing in, and exhale, twist. Now I want you to stay in this twist with gentle shoulders, nice and soft. Go ahead and look over that left shoulder. So I'm reaching, Gently stretching my neck while I'm in this twist. We're gonna breathe in and out. Inhaling, exhaling. Three breaths, okay, so one more breath here. In and out. That was our third, so inhale. We're gonna breathe out as we unwind. Perfect, okay, let's do the other side always making sure that you're really nicely situated, um, shoulder on top of the waist, knee on top of the ankle. Let's go ahead and now take our left hand behind us, fairly close to the tailbone. Okay, so it's anchoring right into that chair. We're gonna inhale, lift and lengthen through the crown of our head, taking the right hand and breathe out, twist, taking that right hand to the outside of our left leg. Do you notice that I'm not also moving my thighs together, that I'm keeping them nice and hip width distance apart. Because I did this, it's kind of pinching into my hip. So just make sure we're nice and aligned here. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep your chin right over your sternum, please. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Breathe in and twist. Breathe with nice soft shoulders. Let's go ahead and look over that right shoulder. So you're kind of looking into the corner, soft shoulders, gentle stretch to the neck. Three breaths here, please. Breathe in and out. In and out. One more breath. From this point, we're going to do three shoulder rolls. One, two, and three. Good. We're going to take our hands onto our thighs. That concludes our shoulder neck tension sequence for today. 
I hope you had a great session and I hope you were able to release any tension out of the mind, out of the body with this little sequence. Please subscribe to me and I look forward to seeing you soon.